Hello and welcome back to some more Football Manager 2021. This is part 31 of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Aston Villa. I'm Joe, if you're new around here, and today we have another cup final at Wembley. Can we win our third major trophy of the series or will we finally come unstuck in a Wembley final? Well, it's it's going to be it's going to be really tough. We're taking on Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final, and then later on uh, in today's episode, two days after, we're taking on Man City in the FA Cup fifth round. So it's it's going to be tough. And then we got Dortmund later in the week as well. Um, we might do all three in today's episode. I don't really see. Uh, any reason why not <laughs> yeah let's do it let's do it i mean look at these matches we, we we've had arsenal we've had tottenham uh we've got liverpool now man city then dortmund away and then uh, city and then united it's going to be absolutely crazy um these next few matches so let's see how we've been getting on then uh, since you saw us last time, which was our 4-0 victory against Zenit St. Petersburg, which was quite unbelievable, really. Uh, we then drew 3-3 with Arsenal. We were 2-0 uh, up in that match, and a bit of a shame that we didn't uh, go on and win that one. Uh, and then we lost 3-0 to Tottenham. So things are up and down at the moment. We're eighth in the Premier League now. Still got two games in hand on, on most of the teams around us. So... Um, you know, I think we, we will finish in the top seven this year. But, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to when we don't have to, to play all these uh, these teams. I mean, after Man United, you know, we've got a, a decent run of matches. OK, we are playing Chelsea and, and Liverpool and Man United in there. But, um, you know, we should hopefully be getting some victories in between. But, uh, yeah, let's have a little look at the team for today then. Uh, this is This is what I've gone for. Um, so we've got Martinez in goal, he's, he's back today, which is good. We've got Nelson, Conser and Mings in defence. We've then got Adam Smith and Matthew Target as our uh, wing-backs with Di Maria and Hoiberg in the middle and Ollie Watkins starting behind Neymar and Bertrand Traore up top. It's not, you know, our absolute ultimate strongest eleven that we could have, but we're trying our best and... Uh, yeah, I think this is uh, about the best we can do, really. So let's let's get into it uh, without any further ado. And you know, it is going to be it is going to be tough today against Liverpool, but we'll go out there as we always do in these matches and and try our best. And and you know, it usually uh, works out well. But I, I think we we might finally meet our match this time. So let's see uh, what we can say. Um... You're gonna to need to improve today, or you'll have no chance of getting your hands on that trophy. There you go. That's a that's a decent uh, way to get into it. So let's get into the match then. Here at Wembley, once again, another match and another cup final, and a chance to guarantee ourselves some European football for next season as well, which would be nice. Uh, you know, that's still a very strong squad. Um, you know, we've still got Neymar up top. Uh, and Bertrand Traore, who's who's you know been in great goal scoring form since he's returned to the the starting eleven, and and you know hopefully him and Neymar can do something good. Here's uh, Adam Smith gets it to Neymar into the middle, and here's Target, and it's one nil. Matthew Target with the goal, and it was a brilliant cross from Neymar. And, uh, well, we're 1-0 up within three minutes. Beautiful cross. And they, there was Matt Target at the, the back post. And he sticks it in. And it's 1-0. Come on. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> what a start. Here's Di Maria. He whips it in now. Oof, Neymar's got it. Neymar's still got it. Is he going to shoot? No. Conser gets it forward. But couldn't do anything with it. Unfortunately. I think it was offside as well. So it wouldn't have counted anyway, but I don't like this. It's very end-to-end. -end. Here's Hoiberg. Swings it out wide to target now. What's he going to do? Go on, Matt. Gets it back to Mings. Mings now as a ball-playing defender. All gets it forward, but only as far as Allison And 
Yeah, it's just a little bit weird at the moment, but Consul gets it back now. He has Ollie Watkins with a chance, and Ollie Watkins scores, and it's 2 0 after eight minutes in this final. Absolutely unbelievable. The ball was bouncing around all over the pitch, but Consa with an excellent interception here. He came across, he got the head down. Hoiberg with a great ball forward. Ollie Watkins took three touches and absolutely smashed it into the back of the net. And that is 2-0 now after eight minutes. What a start to this cup final. We could not have asked for better. Absolutely brilliant. Now then, Alexander-Arnold into the middle. Matip tried to get it, but we headed it away. He has uh, Anthony now on the right-hand side. Gets it back to Fiorentino. And uh, that's back from Matip all the way to Alisson. Now he has uh, Dodo. Dodo on the ball. What's he going to do with it? Gets it forward to Anthony. What a tackle from Matt Target, though. Well, he says that that's a, a foul. Are we going to have VAR involved? I think we are. Says it's not a penalty. Yes, that was a brilliant tackle from Matt Target. It really did look like a terrific tackle. And it was very harsh that it was a penalty given. And, well... Uh, that could be a, a crucial moment, who knows. But uh, we've got it forward. Here's Bertrand Traore down the other end. He's swarmed with uh, Liverpool defenders. But, oh, he has Masios, Masias. Oh, and Martinez has got hold of it. And that's the end of that highlight very nicely. 20 minutes gone. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we, we've got another highlight coming up. And, and he gets it in Alexander-Arnold and has gone in. Unfortunately, it was blocked and then it went into the path of Firmino, which we've seen plenty of those goals um, against Chelsea, actually. And yeah, it was Anthony that got it in and pff, typical again, absolutely typical. But it's 2-1 after 20 minutes. We're still ahead, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure we're going to be ahead for, for too much longer. But Target cuts it out. He's having a good game. That's a poor pass, though. It really is. But, you know, if we got that on to the end of Neymar, Neymar could well be the difference maker. And, well, it's 2 all unless that's offside. It may well be. It may well be. Here we go. And it was offside. <laughs> Goal disallowed. But that was a beautiful ball through from Alexander-Arnold. Look at this. That was piercing. And, wow, <laughs> that was so close to being on. But... We're still 2-1 up. Unbelievably. Right. I mean, we're, we're, we're just sort of holding out, hoping that there's no more highlights in this match. That's that's the plan anyway. Uh, Di Maria, I think, yeah, he will be coming off at some point. I might even stick Jack Grealish on for the second half. Smith gets it in. Here's Hoiberg. Don't lose it, Nelson. I don't like this. Oh, nice ball to Di Maria, though. Here's Hoiberg. Di Maria again. Back to Nelson. Di Maria. Traore. Here's Hoiberg. Gets it wide to Matt Target now. And here's Neymar. And there you go. That's why we have Neymar in the box, ready and raring to go. He does not hesitate in putting it into the back of the net. And it's 3-1 now. And it was a beautiful bit of football, actually. A lovely ball out to, to Target. Target kept going. Managed to get the ball to Neymar, and then Neymar, as always, does not hesitate, and he makes it 3-1. I still very much feel like we are second favourites in this match, but hey, it's a smash and grab at the moment, so let's uh, let's tell them not to get complacent out there. And uh, we'll, we'll give it 10 minutes, and then I think we'll bring Grealish on for Di Maria. Here's Conce, now Nelson. Gets it forward, but couldn't get it past uh, their defenders. Mings is going to cut it out. Martinez, here's Nelson. Very composed. Here's Smith. Go on, son. Adam Smith on the right-hand side. Now Di Maria. Di Maria forward to Smith again. And here's Watkins. Oh, it's 4-1. What a brilliant goal that is from Ollie Watkins. And we're 4-1 up at Wembley once again. And surely now... We can maybe start dreaming about getting our hands on that Carabao Cup because that is absolutely terrific from Ollie Watkins in the bottom corner. It's 4-1 to Aston Villa. And, well, I think we can be absolutely delighted with this. But here come Liverpool wanting to get 
get it back to just two between us. But uh, here's Alexander Arnold. What's he going to do? Firmino. Anthony scores. It's 4 2 now. It is 4 2. Oh, after 47 minutes. And yeah, we're just we're just struggling uh, to keep them out. But yeah, it was a good ball through, and Anthony with a great shot. And yeah, Martinez couldn't do much about that one. But four two now. And I think we're going to bring on Mister Mister Aston Villa, Jack Grealish. He's he's fairly tired, but I think you know he, he'll be less tired than Angel Di Maria. Um, Adam Smith. Yeah, it's a tough one now. I think I think we leave it like that for now. I was thinking about bringing Gilbert on for for Adam Smith, but maybe not. Oh, sixty minutes gone. I don't want to. I don't want to change anything. You guys are probably screaming, go counter attack and go defensive, but yeah, I, I don't want to invite pressure onto us. So because I don't think we can deal with it. But here's Martinez now. Grealish, Hoiberg, Watkins. Gets it wide to Adam Smith now. Oh, I thought that was going to be the moment, but I think this could well be the moment Liverpool get within one, but Smith gets it away. Watkins had it for a second there. Go on, son. Great tackle, but it's only gone as far as Anthony. Now Firmino. Mings gets it away. He has Dodu. Now Alexander-Arnold. Oh, no. Diogo Jota. Anthony. Oh, it's just wide. That was so close. That was so close. Right. Yeah, Smith is, is going to come off. We're going to stick Gilbert on instead. Just to freshen up our right-back position. Oh, no. Here's Alexander-Arnold. Gets it in. Matip's there. Oh, and it's bounced in. That was awful. And it's a Victor Nelson own goal. And now, what do we do? I mean, that was just an absolute joke what was going on there. Oh no, and here's a highlight. It just feels like one of them matches Liverpool are going to win 5-4. Well, Target gets it away. Here's Dodu. They're coming at us again. Yotta. Oh. Well, Martinez has grasped, grasped hold of it. And he gets it forward. And that's over the top. Here's Neymar to finish it. Oh. Oh. That was so close. But what a cup final this has been. Traore now into the middle, it's away. And there you go. The ball goes out for a throw in. Oh dear. Becker gets it away now. Firmino. Oh, Yacht has got wide open space. What a save from Martinez. What a save that was. Right. I think we need to, to do something about this because they are just getting behind us now. Uh, so we'll stick Gilbert and target back. We're going to put him on full-back support, have him on full-back uh, defend, uh, support, sorry. Uh, yeah, Traore can come off, and we're going to stick on a defensive midfielder in the shape of John McGinn, or, nah, Callum McGregor, and we'll swap him round with uh, Hoiberg, Move him on to support. Maybe even keep Watkins there, you know. The shadow striker and have him as an advance forward. Let's do that. We're going to go cautious. Oh no, we ought to get it forward. Matt upset. I think it's offside. I think it's offside. Yep. Yeah. We are appealing for offside. VAR is getting involved. And it was. <laughs> it was offside. But that was so close. That was so close to, to be in the moment. But we held our line. And uh, although Matip has stuck it in, Liverpool have had two um, disallowed goals in this match. We've got five, is that six minutes? Five minutes of added time. Christensen, Lucas, Target gets it away. Oh, I thought he'd headed it out, which would have been a good move. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, what a save. What a save. Yotta. Lucas Firmino, what a save. Double save from Martinez there. That 
could well win us the Carabao Cup. Here they go with a corner into the middle. Concer away. Yotta now. Yotta keeps going. Oh! <laughs> what a shot that was. And it's off the crossbar. We've got 10 seconds. Yes! Yes! We've done it again. We have done it again. Oh, well. There you go. And we step up. And we're going to lift the Carabao Cup trophy. Quite unbelievable. And there it goes. European football is secured. Our first League Cup of the series. And our third major trophy already within Season 3. Absolutely crazy what these guys have done. They really have been... Terrific, and uh, they deserve all the plaudits that they they get after that one. To score four four goals against Liverpool, I think that's a little bit special, uh, a little bit of a special performance right there. But wow, another trophy in the bag. Um, and there you go. Oh, I thought for some reason I thought that said uh, Aston Villa sack Hamard. I was like, what about, what, what's happened? But no, it's fine. Uh, so we celebrate a double because, of course, we won the Community Shield earlier in the season. Um, but yeah, there's uh, Martinez on form. I mean, you know, he, he, he pulled off two worldies right at the end there. And uh, yeah, we've uh, we've won the EFL Cup. What can I say about that? But it was a very intense match, and it's going to be so so tough now uh, to get ready and and in the game for the Man the Man City fifth round the FA Cup, where we are still defending our trophy. Can we pull off another miracle? Okay, uh, a couple of changes for this match, mainly because most of us are knackered. Um, so we've put Balerdi in uh, in central defence. We've brought in Gilbert and Vinagre uh, as our wing backs. Callum McGregor has come in, and uh, that's about it. We've changed a couple of the roles, but uh, other than that, we're we're ready to go against Man City. Um, and you know, luckily we we seem to have recovered reasonably well, which is good. So yeah, let's get into this match then. I mean, Man City are probably going to tear us apart. But, uh, you know, we're at home. I think we've we've got a pretty good home record as it goes. So we'll just try our best again. Uh, you know, when we go into these matches and I say we try our best, that's exactly what we do. Uh, and uh, hopefully we, we can pull off a miracle. You know, we've got Neymar and Bertrand Traore up top that can turn this game into, into us absolutely smashing it. So we'll try. Uh, and see how it goes. Here's Martinez. Now gets it to Victor Nelson, who clears it, um, but only as far as Camavinga. Oh, and Sterling. Well, he gets Man City off to a great start. And we're going to go attacking straight away because it is a cup game. You know, we want to. We obviously don't want to damage, uh, limit the damage. We want to go out there and keep ourselves in the FA Cup and keep our hopes and dreams alive of winning three FA Cups in a row. It's going to be super tough though. Guerrero into the middle. Haaland hits the post and it's away by Nelson. It definitely isn't feeling like one of those days that we can turn it round today. We definitely look like we we played two days ago, <laughs> unfortunately. But, um, you know, we've got one eye on the Dortmund match as well. And by the way, the, the winning the, the EFL Cup apparently doesn't get you Europe, Europa League football anymore. It's uh, Conference League football that you get. Uh, the sort of new uh, UEFA tournament. Um, which, you know, I, I guess if we win that next year, we'd have a really good chance of winning it. But, yeah. Oh, here's Neymar. And he has equalised. I don't think it was offside. He has equalised in Traore with the with the assist there. And, uh, well, I mean, Traore, I don't know what he was doing here. He just didn't seem to have any pace at all. But then they just messed it up. And, well, Neymar was stood there waiting. And, and it's one all after uh, half an hour, which, you know, isn't bad. Nelson. Gets it forward. Traore runs onto it. Go on, son. That's got to be a penalty. Surely 
That's got to be a penalty. We've got VAR coming out. What's going to happen? Sided with the referee, and yeah, it is a penalty. So who's going to step up? I think it's Neymar that's going to step up. Is he going to score it? Yes, he is. Neymar has, has smashed in the penalty. That was brilliant. 19th goal of the season for him now. And remember, he only joined in November. It's been quite unbelievable, this journey. But what a penalty that was. And we're 2-1 up. We're 2-1 up. But here's Guerrero into the middle. It's away by Conce. Now Watkins. And we're on the counter-attack. Look at this. Two against two. And Traore. Traore runs. Traore shoots. Traore scores! <laughs> How has that got in? That was one of the world's worst shots from Bertrand Traore there. But he's put us 3-1 up. What a ball from Ollie Watkins. And Traore ran. And, uh, well, I mean, it was a, <laughs> it was a bit of a... Um, a, a deflection from the goalkeeper that, that helped it in in the end but uh, there you go, half time and it is 3-1 I mean where has that come from you know we, we just we, we look so tired out there but we're, we're doing it let's get John McGinn on for this second half because I don't want Hoiberg to break his legs uh, Watkins and Vinagre the, the next people to come off but uh, we'll see. Vinagra's got it now. Bellardi. Bellardi again. Oh, gets it forward. And Neymar's there. And it's 4-1. Wow, what a ball that was from Bellardi. And that is his 20th goal of the season. That's a hat-trick for Neymar. That was absolutely phenomenal. What a ball this was from Bellardi. Look at this. He's just earned himself an extended run in the first team. What a finish from Neymar. And it's 4-1. And, uh, well, I've, uh, twice in today's episode, I, I've been flabbergasted. Here's Bellardi again, now McGinn. Gets it back to Bellardi. Go on, son, get yourself a, another assist. McGinn, here's Watkins, now McGregor. Gets it forward to Gilbert now. Gilbert! Oh, that was a chance. That was a chance. Gilbert wants to go out on loan, by the way. I've been delaying, delaying it. I think we'll, we'll keep him about. I don't see the, the value in letting them go out on loan. I know he'll be slightly unhappy, but we need him for this run-in, basically. So, here's Bernardo. What's he going to do with it? Cancelo. Bernardo. Haaland. Oh, well, Vinagra gets it away. So, let's have a look. He's looking... I mean, he's just come back from injury as well. So let's get Target in. Ollie Watkins as well. We'll stick. Who do we go for? Let's go for Glatzel, actually. Let's stick Glatzel in there and see what he can do. He's been doing great in the reserves recently. Just, uh, I mean, last season he had um, Rule of the Roost. You know, he was he was doing really well. But, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll see him get back into the team and, and do something good. Here's Martinez. Is he just going to boot it forward? Yes, he is. Over the top, maybe. Not quite. Here's Thomas Lamar. Now, Guerrero. That's away. Glatzel was there. Oh, dear. Here's Bernardo. Good tackle from Target. Now, Cancelo. Come on, Target. Well, <laughs> that was a terrible shot from Cancelo. And uh, we've got 20 minutes left here. Here's Gilbert. McGregor, back to Nelson, here's McGinn, McGregor, nope, that wasn't good, I think it's going to be 4-2 here, oh, side netting, well, 15 minutes ago, they're running out of time, if they want to get back into this, Lamar, Rodrigo, Lamar again, and here's Kamavinga, <laughs> Balerdi, and now here's McGregor, gets it forward. Can Neymar get his fourth? Yes, he can. Wow, 5-1 now. And Neymar scores his fourth goal. And it was a good ball over the top from Callum McGregor. And we're 5-1 up against Man City. This is just insane. It is insane. A beautiful ball over the top there. And Neymar Jr. sticks it into the back of the net. 5-1, four goals for him. 
He is having a whale of a time. Ten minutes left in this match. Surely City can't get back into this now, but... <sighs> You know, stranger things have happened in FM. Martinez over the top. Neymar's on the ball again. Can he score a fifth? Yes, he can. <laughs> a fifth goal for Neymar. It's 6-1 against Man City. Neymar has absolutely smashed it today. And it was a beautiful ball over the top from uh, Emiliano Martinez. And what a cool finish from Neymar. Fifth goal of the match. We're very much through to the FA Cup quarterfinal once again. Can he get a double hat-trick? That's That's got to be the aim now. Let's get him a double hat-trick. Two minutes at a time. It's not going to happen. But full time and 6-1 against Manchester City. And what a sweet victory that is. I told you that we had a good home record, but after going 1-0 down, I really didn't think we could do that. Two days after uh, the the match against Liverpool, I mean, this is just insane. It, it, it really is. Right, let's praise him. Um, put arm around. Uh, it remained unchanged. Really impressed with how you led the team. There you go. Um, Right, yeah, we're going to cancel that uh, because Gilbert, yeah, I, you know, he definitely needs to be in the team. Really, um, I can't, I can't say that anyway to him. I wish you could discuss that sort of thing with him. Um, I don't know whether it's on here. Speak about, nah, nah, it's fine. Um, but anyway, we've got the the Dortmund match coming up. That's going to be a crazy one. So how about we get into that one as well? Well, I mean, <laughs> what a crazy couple of games so far. But here we go for the Dortmund game. We've actually got a lot of our players back uh, from injuries, little injuries that they'd had or little suspensions. So, um, yeah, Bailly comes back in. Alderweireld comes back in. Gilbert is going to start right back. Adam Smith at left back, which is the only real one that I'm concerned about. Uh, Di Maria's back in. Grealish is back in. This is going to be an insane match. Let's go and beat Dortmund. Come on, boys. Let's do this. This is actually the game I feel the most confident for out of the three that we've had today. I mean, it's going to be so tough. It's, it's going to be insanely tough. Dortmund are a brilliant team. Uh, you know, you can look at some of their names in there. Uh, they are very much the favourites for this match. But, hey, we'll go out there and we'll try our best once again to give the fans something to shout about. The fans that have come all the way uh, to Dortmund in Germany, of course. Um, and hopefully we can we can get through to another Europa League quarterfinal. That's that's the plan, at least. But uh, here's Adeyemi. Now to Angelino. Now Brandt. Angelino for to Brandt. Oh, it's a good tackle. It's a good tackle. I think that was Eric Bailly that uh, had the last minute um, interception. It's away. Now here's Grealish. Now we're on the counter-attack. Get it forward, son. Go on. Uh, good tackle by Traore there. Whew. But uh, hopefully it won't be quite as intense a match as, as the last one. I'd be quite happy with a nil-nil. Goes all the way to penalties as long as we win it at the end. Um... But, uh, yeah, I'd love to see another five-star Neymar performance. And here we go. Neymar at Smith gets it in. But uh, Delaney now running away with it. What's he going to do? Gets it wide to Angelino. Back to Brandt. Gets it forward. He has had a Yemi. Oh, it's in. And Dortmund have gone 1-0 up. Mm, maybe our luck is, is about to run out. 20 minutes gone. Can, can we do it? Can we do it? It's a one-off match. It's not a two-legged affair, this one. So we've got to do it all on the night. And it's unfortunate that we're away. I mean, Dortmund were apparently the lower-seeded team, which I find very hard to believe and understand. But that's the way it goes, I suppose. Here's Angelino now. Gets it forward. Traore with the chance, and it's 2-0. Yeah... I think our luck has ran out now. Our steam has ran out. And we're 2-0 down already. But, you know, we, we can still get back into this. We still have plenty of this match to go. And uh, 
We will demand more from them. Angelino gets it in. Oh, nearly 3-0 there. Reiner. Grealish gets it away. Yeah, by the way, uh, Gilbert was not happy that we uh, didn't let him go out on loan and he, he wants to leave the club properly now. So that that one didn't work really. Right, thrash arms. I'm far from pleased. Let's let's do better in this second half. Let's go very attacking. Let's try and take take it to them. Angelino now gets it forward. Adeyemi's there and it's 3-0. 3-0 to Borussia Dortmund. And I think we're out of the Europa League. I think it's very unlikely we're going to get three goals back. You know, we still had a sniff of a chance at 2-0, but 3-0, that's not looking great, is it? Angelino again into the middle. 4-0 now. Wow. Yeah. We've we've met our match. And, uh, yeah, the Europa League is not meant to be. I think, had we got through this match, I do genuinely think we had a great chance of winning it. But, um, yeah, we just haven't turned up today. So, I think it's time for three substitutions and just hope that we can maybe get four goals back in the rest of this match. Um, Jamie Vardy, he can come on as well. Um, yeah. I suppose that's it, isn't it? Three three substitutions. We've got half an hour to get four goals. Here we go. The, here's the first one. Vardy. Now Smith into the middle. Lo loses it. Here's Alderweireld. Go on, son. McGregor. Watkins. Neymar. Vardy. Hits the post, but he was offside anyway. <sighs> Never mind. Maybe next year. If we qualify, you know, now now I know I have to win the FA Cup to qualify or finish in the top six in the league. Uh, you know, either which of them will help. But, uh, yeah, we're not going to win the Europa League this year. Here's Paslak, Van den Beek. And it's away as Angelino. I mean, hopefully we qualify for the Champions League through the through league qualification. You know, in a way, I'm, it will help. Our um, domestic uh, ambitions by going out of the the Europa League. I just hope it doesn't, you know, crush them too bad. Um, you know, we we were very much the underdogs for this, so you know we we we've overachieved so so much so far in this save. Gilbert gets it in, and Vardy does get a goal back. I do think it's a bit much to ask. To get three more goals in seven minutes. But uh, we'll try. We will try. And Gilbert with a beautiful cross once again. And that's exactly why I want to keep him in the squad. And Vardy with a, with a great header. And that's potentially his last ever European goal. Who knows? Who knows? But three minutes of added time. It's not going to happen. Uh, here's Gilbert. Now McGregor. Gilbert into the middle. Watkins... Could have had it, but uh, I mean, we've had the better of them for this last 20 minutes or so, but you know, 20 minutes doesn't make it the match, and Adam Smith makes it 4-2, and it's a bit bit of a pity that it's too little too late, really, but uh, at least we've made it slightly respectable now, and had it been a two-legged affair, maybe we could have given ourselves a chance of getting back into it, but there's no way we're going to get two goals in 20 seconds, and it is going to be full time. And well done to Borussia Dortmund, who go through. I think they they very much deserved their victory in the end. So well played to them. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I can't really fault them. They seem demotivated, but I can't fault how they played today. Uh, it just wasn't meant to be. But we do get uh, a million pound for, for that, which is, is all right. And uh, should we have a look at when we're going to come back? Because we've got quite a lot to look forward to in the the coming episode so we've got man city and man united coming up in the league don't worry i'm not gonna uh bore you with with that sort of stuff but we might come back for the fa cup quarter final and uh the away game against chelsea and see how we're getting on in the league at that point so if you have enjoyed it make sure you leave a like down below it really does help out the channel it means a lot to me as well subscribe to the channel for daily football manager content and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.